The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Well, good day. My name is Greg Downing. I am the owner of Obamacare Made Easy. Today is Friday the 13th, believe it or not, it is of September. And today I'm going to cover why you should be doing the employer uh, notification to your employees about the exchanges. I've had lots of people start asking questions now that they're doing them, and so we're going to cover those today very quickly. Now, the uh, first thing that most of us want to think about is, well, why do I have to do this, and what is the benefit that's in it for me and my company? Well, as you all know, health insurance is expensive, and because of that, most of us small employers just can't afford health insurance, and every year fewer and fewer of us are able to provide health insurance, and therefore we have millions of hardworking Americans that don't have access to health insurance. Therefore, this Affordable Health Care Act has come into play. So the bottom line is that if you do not currently offer health insurance like many of us, the government actually is going to subsidize most of your employees' insurance costs. So, seems like I know I'm going to take advantage of that by educating the employees. Now, one of the things on the notices that's sent out, uh, when an employee goes or an individual goes to the exchanges to get subsidies, they're going to have to answer questions like, what's your employer's name, what's their... Uh, employer number, their address, a contact person, when they're filling out their application to apply for insurance and get subsidies. So part of the form is to let them know they're going to need that, so you might as well give it to them now so they don't come back to you because they can't proceed without that. So that's one reason. Um, the other thing to think about is who's all going to qualify for these subsidies? And it is not the downtrodden, it is not the people that live on the street. Middle America, that's who's going to qualify for these subsidies. So if you look at this chart, it will show you that you can make quite a bit of income and still qualify for um, subsidies. Matter of fact, a family of four can make up to $94,000 a year and still qualify for subsidies. And these are substantial amounts of money that could be going to your employees. Now here's a chart, I'm not going to go through it, but I would recommend you look at it later if you hadn't seen this before. But this shows the way the subsidies work, and the way the subsidies work is actually uh, individuals only pay a percentage of their household income to buy health insurance. For example, let's just say I am a family of three, me, a spouse, and a child, and let's say I make $29,000 a year, she's a stay-at-home mom, or whatever the case may be, I only have to pay 4% of my total income to buy health insurance. When you do the numbers on that, that comes out to be about $96 a month that I would have to pay to cover myself, my spouse, and a child. That's ah, pretty impressive. So again, what we're trying to do with the Affordable Care Act is get as many people as possible to have health insurance so that the ones of us that are paying for health insurance don't have to pay so much. So we have to have everybody participate to make this work. Now, I'm not saying it's going to work and everything's going to be great. I'm just saying that's what we need to do, get the word out and, and, and give it a chance, I guess. Um, now, so what does that mean to the people that get the subsidies? And your employees, if you don't provide health insurance, they're probably going to be pretty happy about this. Um, and it actually covers dental as well, but not for adults, only for children. Now, Vern, he needs a little help, that's for sure. So your employees generally are, we estimate close to 70% of the people follow in that uh, category that would qualify for subsidies. So it's a huge amount of the population that would qualify. Now, if you're currently providing group health insurance to your employees, guess what? They're blocked from the subsidies. They can't access those. So if 
when you send out the notice, which is there's one for if you don't provide health insurance and one if you do, you know, what's going to happen whether you like it or not is it's going to be, one, confusing to the employees, and two, some of them aren't going to be real happy if they find out that they're blocked and other people can get subsidies because a lot of times it's going to be more of a penalty to having group health insurance uh, because you're blocked from the subsidies where you could get a whole lot more income. So it's just that's the way it's going to be. But regardless of whether you have health insurance or you don't, you know what happens. As soon as you send out these notices, you're going to have people come and go, well, what kind of plans are available? They're going to ask you a bunch of questions. And that's what, what we're getting into now. And so people, will, they don't have enough information and it's not like, you know, there's an easy way to access all the stuff to the Affordable Care Act where you can just easily grab this information and answer the question. So it's, it's you know, it's going to be interesting. One, one of the things that the letter states and the notices is that, you know, beginning October the 1st, which is, you know, what, 17 days away. I can't do the math. Anyway, let's just say 17 days away from starting that you can go apply for um, these health plans. And that is true. It will be open October the 1st. But think about this. I have gone through the training. I have uh, passed it all. I finally got my certificate. Do you know how much I know about what plans are going to be available on the exchange? Nothing. I know absolutely nothing, and I will not know based upon all the information I have until October the 1st. So October the 1st, I'm supposed to be able to help people enroll and sign up for health insurance. I don't even know what plans are available, what insurance companies are going to be in the plan, and we will not know until October the 1st. Uh, and the people that will be working at these exchanges, uh, the navigators and they're brand new. They're in training right now. They're not licensed insurance agents. They're brand new folks trying to figure out. And I'm sure they're nice, but if you can imagine what it's going to be like, and I already know what it's going to be like because I can't get questions answered, is that it's just an, an overwhelming task. So I would recommend that you tell your em employees that, yes, that is true, but don't even get close to those exchanges until at least mid-October when hopefully you know we, we've got things figured out because their effective date's not going to be till January the 1st anyway so don't have people go there though we'll definitely get frustrated so I'm recommending that that's one of the answers that you give them whoa <laughs> Patrick snuck that picture in on me all right well as you can <laughs> see it's scary it is Friday the 13th isn't it um, I'm gonna put together a video that's kind of a pre okay I just can't take this anymore I'm gonna just change that page so I can focus so I'm gonna put together a video that you can give to your employees or anybody that's trying to figure this out that will give an overview of kind of the plans that are going to be available we have enough information to that we know what's going to be there. We just don't know the details. So I'll put that together. I'll send that to you here in the next couple of days. And that way, don't try to answer these questions to the employees. Send them to our website. Have them call me. Uh, you'll be overwhelmed. And, and just don't do that. Now, this page that you're looking at right here is just a screenshot from our website. Um, if you have already done your notices you might have got that from there if you haven't this is the first video you're looking at um, right here is everything you need to know you click on our links there's the letter I recommend you do a cover letter uh, you know and then that probably I would change to say hey don't go to the exchanges or don't try to do anything till the middle of October so you won't be frustrated uh, if you click we've got another video that explains everything and if you don't want to deal with any of this just sign up for our affordable care act first aid kit we'll do it all give your employees some additional benefits and you can just relax so that's a quick update on why you should do that if you have any questions feel free to give me a call here at obamacaremadeeasy.com that's my phone number 
and Patrick does such a good job on all these creative things. I just have to use that fella some way, and that he seemed like he would fit in there. All right, have a great day on this Friday, September 13th, and have a great weekend.